tell that Tonga is an African elephant. Her Asian elephant counterparts will have much smaller ears. They'll be much more in proportion to their body, more similar to us. Now, there's several other differences the shape of their backs, the texture of their skin, even the number of coils is different. Um, let's have her speed up here. We can get a look at her moving a little faster. Now, she speeds up. Notice how her gait doesn't change. She continues to walk. She never breaks into a trot or a gallop or a run. She can't. She's not like a horse. Elephants will only walk, but they can walk very, very fast. Some can cruise up and over 40 miles per hour. Now, again, if you want in the front row, please stay seated. Let's show off a little bit more of her grace and balance. This time we'll use the spindle. And have a big hand for Tom. <laughs> and a little bit more of a formal introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our 29 year old. This is Tom. Have a big hand. Now, the thing that makes an elephant an elephant, most of all, besides that great big body, is probably that great big long nose she has today. Trunk. Now, we're going to demonstrate just a few things trunk, that Paula can do with her nose. Let's do that. We'll use this bunch of sticks here. That a go. Now, that trunk, trunk, that is her nose. She breathes with it. She smells with it just like we do our own nose. But she'll also do a variety of other things with it. She can catch a stick. There are actually over 100,000 muscles and tendons in that nose. That's more than we have in our entire body. There's also no bones, which allows it to be so flexible. That is a problem. It's also very, very strong. Kava can push several thousand pounds just using her nose, yet she's able to pick a dime up off the cycle. Very, very versatile. Very yeah, girl. How about a big hand for Kava? Can you fix those up, please? Thank you. Now move up. Pick it up. Good girl. Good girl. Trunk. Trunk. Now always pick your toys up when she's done. Now, the sticks are pretty easy to catch. Tava can see them fairly well. They're pretty long. But let's see if she can do an apple. Tava's a perfectionist. She likes to go above and beyond. Trunk. Are you ready? Good. All right, now remember, Tava's eyes are on the side of her head, so she doesn't have very good depth perception, very good binocular vision like we do. So she's actually mostly feeling her way for that apple, and she still catches it, no problem at all. How about a big hand? Now, moving right along. Now, in order to keep these guys healthy, keep them active, it's important to give them physical work, but it's also important to keep them mentally active. That's why we teach them silly things like catching sticks. Um, but we'll train them a whole variety of behaviors. And one of the first ones we'll train all our young elephants to do is simply to lie on their side after a while. Now, in reality, we're not really teaching her how to do anything she doesn't know. Elephants know how to lie down right from birth. But we're teaching her more, though. There we go. We're teaching her to trust us. See, to an elephant, being on their side is their most vulnerable position. She's over 9,000 pounds. So for her to get all this weight back up into the air takes quite a bit of energy. So if anything wanted to bother her, anything wanted to hurt her, it could do it. She can't defend herself. So right now, she's relying completely on me to keep her safe, to protect her. And that's the basis of our relationship, this trust she has in me. It allows me to do my most important job, which is just to take care of these guys. See, from her side here, I'm able to give her her daily bath. Each one of our elephants will get at least one bath a day. You can check her back out. She's over nine feet tall, so this is the easiest way to scrub her back, hose her back, make sure there are no cuts, scrapes, abrasions. You can also come around here to the front. You can check these big, thick, elastic pads, make sure there are no sharp stones, no foreign objects. Check her tummy out. Look her all over. I can even peek into her ears. Peek into the end of her nose. She'll let me do almost anything. Check her over. Make sure everything's healthy. That a girl. Now, if I do find a problem, I'm in a position to treat it. I can give her an x-ray, ultrasound. 
injections, blood draws, anything we need to do. We need the veterinary staff to come. They can come. They can get close to the problem because she trusts me. Now, look at the demonstration of that trust. Is this? I don't have a problem. <laughs> How do you always know I have to? Now, <laughs> for Tom to do this requires a lot of trust. I'm actually probably the only person here still who Tom will let do this. Again, she's 9,000 pounds. She doesn't want me sitting on her tummy. I'm not going to be here. She gets up, I'm coming off whether I want to or not. There's no way to make her do this. But because of the time I've spent, the trust I built, she'll let me do this. That'll do it. And that, test. <laughs> Now, we do like to take a second to remind everyone that elephants are an endangered species. There are actually less than 500,000 African elephants like Papa here left in the world. There are less than 40,000 Asian elephants. So it's our hope that you guys get to come out here, you get this up-close experience to see just how neat these animals are. Maybe we inspire you guys to help us conserve them. If that's the case, there are a lot of great conservation groups out there. The one we recommend is the International Elephant Foundation. You can find them at elephantconservation.org. Um, and there's another thing you can do, uh, and that's simply don't buy any ivory. These white tusks here that's made of ivory, this is quick. This is what the poachers go out into the field. You don't get the apple to the end. She knows. Uh, this is what the poachers go out, they shoot and kill these guys for, just for those ivory tusks. So if you guys don't buy it, it's not worth anything to you. It won't be worth anything to the poachers. So can you guys all agree not to buy any ivory? Yes, for Paula. Thank you. I know she appreciates it. And she appreciates it so much, she's actually going to make a nice little pose for you guys. So if you got a camera, get it set. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Paula. It is actually an excellent example of what we like to call a muscle-specific behavior. Now all that means is that's something we do, we teach our elephants, and all it does is it works on a specific muscle group of their body. That was called a sit-up, it works on just what you'd expect a sit-up to work on. It works on those great big tummy muscles. Now, in the wild, elephants, they'll walk 10 or 15 miles every day just looking for food and water. They'll also stand on their hind legs, reaching up into the trees for the higher leaves, the higher fruits. Um, but here, since we provide all the food and water, it's also okay. important that we provide them with an exercise. It's also important that we provide them with an exercise program, which is why we designed the encounter. It's all about getting these guys up, keeping them active, keeping them healthy. Now, I mentioned how Tom trusts me and how important that is in our relationship, but it's also very important that I trust her. So I'm actually going to lie on the ground and I'm going to let Tava walk over the top of me. Uh, but before I do that, I like to check. Pablo, would you ever step on me? No? Okay, that's a good answer. Pablo, are you sure? Good. So, so keep in mind, while she does this, that Pablo actually can't see me when she does this. She can't see her feet. Elephants have huge blind spots. Great big body, tiny little eyes. But I'm going to let her do it anyway. So wish me luck. Four great big feet. One tiny little elephant trainer. And remember, please don't try this with your elephants at home. Bob and I are paid professionals. Oh, you're funny. Uh, she's so talented, she can even do it backwards. Had <laughs> a girl. I've had a big hand for Bob. Put a hand up. Oh, <laughs> now, my mom doesn't know I do that, so if you guys can not tell her, that'd be cool. But <laughs> not sure she'd approve. Now. We're going to show off a little bit more of Tom's race. We're going to use a silver elephant club this time. Now, if she does this, remember, she can't see her feet. Yet, she's going to make her way around this tub quite effortlessly. You notice she'll never slip, she'll never fall. She doesn't even uh, miss a beat. Can anyone tell me how she does that? Well, one of the ways is Tom's great balance. That's a good girl. But there's another way. Notice where she puts her feet. She actually puts her feet in contact with the edge of the tub all the time. She's feeling her way around it. That a good problem. And that's something she taught herself to do. A little, a little bit more of her balance. Two feet on one side. All right. Oops, turn. Souvenirs. Anyone? <laughs> They're free. 